What? Listen to this podcast right now! Hey. Do you want to hear a fucking podcast about anything and everything? Yeah. Like movies, oh my music, God. television, and more? Oh my God. Well, you've come to the right place. Yes. Subscribe to Journey Into Comics Network, oh. and you get Podcastrophy, oh hosted God. by me, yes. Dick. Why not throw a couple bucks to the Patreon? It's yes. your choice. Yeah. This is a Podcastrophy. That sounds so awesome. The following, following. the following is a journey into comics. Journey into comics. It's a journey into comics. It's a journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Network. 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 Production. Production. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is episode 4 of Adulting Ain't Easy. I am your co-host Andrew and joining me as always is Liz. Hello. Oh. Forgot it's season 2. It's season 2 episode 4, yes. Yeah. So you're you always keeping me, keeping me clear. Yeah, why are you so unclear today? Because I am stressed. And that's the topic of the day. That's the topic of the day, the week, my life. <laughs> so why are you stressed? Well, I am. At, least at this point, I am. Time? I am stressed because I am traveling for work for the second time in two weeks, mm-hmm. which is not fun because you have your your normal stuff that you have to do on a regular basis. Plus, you have to get stuff ready. To sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. I'm podcasting. I'll talk to you later. Um. <laughs> But you still have to get the stuff ready to like you have to pack your stuff, get your work stuff situated, get your stuff for the airport, make sure you're not forgetting anything, and then tying up all the loose ends you have to deal with. And it can just be stressful, especially when you just got back less than a week ago. Yeah. Well, and you don't normally travel for work. So I, that's what makes it even more stressful. Right. Because you you're not used to breaking the routine. Right. I I like my I have my usual get up, my go to work, my get home, and my usual after work home things. And yeah, when something like this happens, especially when I have a really early flight, which I'm crazy for picking this flight. I just wanted to get into work early, but I have to get up for my flight at 2.15 this morning, which is going to be awful. Mm -hmm. And then I have to work a full day and then attempt to work after. I'm not going to make it. I'm probably going to pass out in my hotel room. Luckily, it's a suite, so I'll have a TV and can veg out and die a little. <laughs> no, it's, I'm being over dramatic, but it's this time. It always a little stressful when you have to kind of pack and get all, just get all this stuff together and then try and manage your normal day to day life while doing that. Yeah. I don't know the feeling of traveling stress because with you're a teacher, you don't have to travel very far, but I see where you're coming from. I mean, right now I'm not super stressed. I was more stressed last week because I started summer school and trying to figure out a whole new age group. Um, Normally I teach like middle school kids, but this year for summer school, I'm teaching kindergarten and first grade. So that's like a huge shift. And I was pretty stressed out last week just for the fact that I'm not used to dealing with little kids that need help every step of the way. And it's like, I would get frustrated because they're not, you know, they're not doing what I'm telling them to do. It's like, well, they haven't really had a lot of experience and exposure to doing that because they're so little. Right. I mean, any kid at first grade up to first grade level is a handful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was kind of stressful. And then the fact of trying to get my routine established with the kids and, remembering who has to go to what service at what time and all of that. But I mean, all in all, I mean, we get through the stress, um, but I know how you're feeling. Your stress that you're feeling right now is about the stress that I feel when our portfolios are due for teaching. (laughs) When it's like, for me, I'm really bad at it. This year I was better than past years. Past years I've waited to the last minute to upload a bunch of stuff for my teaching portfolio so I can get evaluated and then I'm super stressed and upset and 
whatnot. But this year I was smart. I started like a month in advance and I was like, I'm going to put in X amount of work per, per day or per week so that by the time that it was due, I had everything in and it was, you know, it was done and I didn't have to worry about it as much. Right. So it, and it stinks though, when you don't have that time to like plan out when it's so last minute and you're just rushing in it. Right. So being able to piecemeal it out over the course of a, like a semester of school year makes things a bit easier. Well, and it's the same thing for your work too. If you don't, I mean, if you don't have time to plan, it's kind of more stressful than anything. Right. And I'm having the fun because, well, when I'm traveling for work, typically I'm not just a different place doing my usual work. I'm doing something usually very different, very hands-on. Because I'm usually when I'm traveling, either I'm on a job site or I'm at a fabricator's. And this is where I am this time. So I literally have like my normal work that I do on a day-to-day basis that has to get put to the side to work on what I'm doing. But that work still needs to get done. So it's just that added workload that always makes things fun. And then it didn't help that like I ended up kind of losing a day because of the fun stress that we had last week. Oh yeah. Last week we had not only do you have work stress, but you have house stress when you're a homeowner because our sump pump went out in the middle. Well, probably in the early morning. We don't know exactly when it went out, but it went out. Right. Cause I had just gotten back from my work trip like Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? No, Tuesday night. No, it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday night. Was it Wednesday night? Yeah. Or no, maybe it was. I don't know. Anyway. It, either way. So I got back and I noticed, because um, I have all of my, my fish stuff down there. So I was down there. I noticed the sump pump was making a weird noise. But I thought, oh, it's just, it's because there's water in the pond. It's just sucking it up. Okay, no big deal. And then, like, Wednesday night happened. And we had a rainstorm Wednesday night. And then I go do my usual morning routine of, like, well, I get myself breakfast, do all my things. Then before I leave, I kind of run down, feed the fish, and then go off to work. Well, I go to go down the stairs and I'm like, oh, there is water on the floor. Like, oh, we had rain, maybe just a little water, not a big deal. And then like, I go look like, oh, no, that's a, that's a lot of water. And then I walk over and see that the sump pit is full and overflowing and kind of crest and kind of was running down the, running around the basement floor. And so I'm like, great. So it's like seven o'clock. I'm supposed to be leaving for work. I'm like, well, this isn't going to happen. I can't just leave this because it's just going to get worse if I let it sit all day. So I had to run off to Menards, get a sump kit, got a backup and so this doesn't happen again. So if one goes out, at least this other one will be there to, to help. And then I had to get it installed and get it all plumbed in and then clean up all the water, move all the stuff that was sitting on the floor because I had some of our bathroom stuff down there and had general storage so it was just a mess and by bathroom stuff he means we're getting our bath we're going to redo our bathroom soon so about a year ago yeah we bought certain things like our um our toilet we had gotten it on a re- a really good rebate so it was right. still sitting in the box we had two um, it got both at the same time and then we put the one in, in what august july yeah and then the other one's just been sitting ready to go and and then we had our sink top that we bought before this one really nice, like, discount homeowner store closed. And I love that place. I know. I'm really it, sad it's, that it's, it's gone. It's like... It's called Hobo, so it's like... It's a... What it said, a homeowner's buyer... Or homeowner's... Buyer's outlet? Bargain outlet. Bargain. So they had, like, everything. You could get cabinets for your kitchen. You could get... Um, granite countertops, you could get tile, and then they had like it, random shit like, uh, like lawn with furniture decorations and furniture. And yeah, stuff. It, it's it's like the big lots for a Menards. Mm-hmm. So like it had everything you could think to need. We got some of our like not our fixtures, but we had um we got like both of our van. Yeah, we've had our bathroom vanity for the master bathroom for over a year now. Right, with the and vanity. We got both vanities there. We got um, one of our mirrors there. We got our like our towel rod and our like toilet bowl or toilet paper holder and all that stuff. So it's just mm-hmm. we've all this stuff just ready, and then still need to implement it, which will hopefully be soon. Mm-hmm. But so that I had to move a toilet that had a little bit of water on the bottom in the box. I had got water it sat soggy, and then the toilet came out. Luckily, the toilet's fine. So I was able to move it, put it on block so it wasn't going to be in the water and then make sure all the pieces and so that made for a fun but I got it all settled down and was finally able to kind of relax with that and then had to make up that lost time so I had to work some over the weekend and then yeah so just it it made for a lot of additional fun but Mm -hmm. 
it's settled. It works. It's much quieter than our old one, and can't beat that for one that's was like twelve years old or however old it was. Mm-hmm. Do you find that when the house is kind of in disarray that you make you have like more stress? Like if there's something wrong with the house, not necessarily like seriously wrong, but like oh I see that you know the laundry is not folded, or oh I see that like there's a bunch of like there's like some disheveled paper on the kitchen table yes. or something like does that stress you out it does and you've seen how i've, I've got when there's like things everywhere i get very overwhelmed because mm-hmm. it's like well i need to do my stuff but i can't just leave this like this and i can't get to my stuff without going through this stuff and it just it kind of snowballs mm-hmm. yeah i agree but then sometimes even like doing the cleaning itself kind of stresses like I know when we have like friends over and stuff and I do like the major cleaning mode that mm-hmm. I get really stressed out because it's like well what if they notice that there's this thing that is maybe a half inch off of where it's supposed to be or like right did they notice that I left or like are they gonna notice that I didn't vacuum or you know right are they gonna know like it's always the are they gonna notice and like right it's like do they care if there's clean dishes on the drying rack next to the sink do they care if, like, right, but we've like, got stuff that we've got our, like, there's alcohol boxes with alcohol in them on our counters. and Right. Know. Or do they care that, like, oh, we have, like, our bedroom is, like, our bed's not made in our bedroom, but we're not, they're not going in our bedroom anyway. It's all the little, but then we go to, like, our friend's house and their house, their places are just, like, oh, yeah, they're not going to care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we, yeah. we, but we care so much about the impression when people come over that it, we stress ourselves out over it, even though they're not. They probably could care less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Because what what stresses you out? I guess because uh, we kind of talked about because um cause sometimes you get stressed when you're I think when like your family is coming over. That's one thing that it's like said to them for friends. It's just like because you know they see all the little things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, my my grandmother, who I love dearly, almost great, but she's also, like, a neat freak, so it's, like, she'll joke. What I love is that she jokingly, like, kind of says, like, oh, like, I guess you had a busy week. You haven't really cleaned up, but, like, sometimes it my needs- mom will be, like, um, why didn't you clean that? It's, like, like, the last time we had people over was, like, the Saturday before Easter, and, like, we're giving a tour of our house, and, like, some of our bed sheet is, like, a little bit of our, like, flat sheet was sticking out, like, from under, like, our comforter. And my mom's like, why'd you do that? You need to fix that. I'm like, it's mom, my, we're my... not hanging out in the in my room. The bed is made. It's just not perfect. The bed perfect. is made. It's not perfect. But... Like, if we're all sitting in here, but it's it's literally going to be dark the rest of the evening. Mm-hmm. So sometimes that stresses me out. Right. It's just other, sometimes other people's comments that, like, you'll sit and dwell on it. Because for me, it's like sometimes something will like happen, like like how it was today. Because um, I don't know for some reason I was thinking like about because like we have like a firebox with all of like our documents in it, and I was like, I realize I don't think I have like our our deed for our home in the firebox. And I was like, well, where is it? And I was like trying to think like where I put it because like, well, did I get it before we moved? Did I is it like in a random box? And it's just so like I got home and I was like searching around for it after even though I know all this other stuff to do, but sometimes you get. At least like I do, I'll get pre, I'll get focused on one thing, and then I can't do anything else until I find or figure out this one thing. Mm-hmm. I'll get like almost like I'll get laser focused, and like I have an issue. It's usually always when I misplace something, or I'll like and it's just I'll just stress about that one thing. Like you remember, I'm trying to think what it was. And it was like it wasn't something I needed. It was like uh, it was like a was it something for the vacuum? I remember there was one thing I remember, like, I was turning that house over for. It like, Liz was like, if you would have searched the thing for, like, another five minutes, I would have yelled at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I honestly can't think. I remember that you, like, you were making me mad because you just kept mulling and mulling and mulling. I'm like... Just... I was grumbling and searching and sorting and running around. I don't know. I get, get a little extra, extra something when I'm stressed and misplace something and I'm like... Well, I need this to do this to do this to do this. And then I'm just yeah. I, I make also, a, I make mounds out of mohills a lot. I, I feel like I get more a lot of my stress, especially like at home, is like when we're 
like trying to get somewhere at a certain time and we're running a little late and uh-huh. I'm just like freaking out of like, okay, what do I need? And then I end up forgetting something, and it's like, well, is it really worth it for me to turn back around and do that? Right. Because, like, that just drives me crazy. Yeah. And then sometimes it's like, I feel like I'm so organized, and then, like, one thing that was, like, kind of a small thing is something I forgot, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, and now it's just going to sit there until the next time. Right. My big thing is that um, I've been trying to be really good with plastic bags, and, like, oh. we work at a shelter, so it's like, I want to, and our... We have so many plastic bags. It's ridiculous. And so my thing is that I want to, like, make sure that when I go to Buddy, I take, like, a few bags with me so I can donate it to them because they use them for poop bags and whatever, clean the litter boxes and everything like that. And then it's, like, every single time I forget about it. And then it's, like, also, I forget about, I've been really wanting, like, I have a bunch of the reusable bags. And I'm, like, oh, I'm going to do that, like, do it every so often so that I can feel like I'm being more environmentally friendly, friendly. And then it's, like, I get to the grocery store. I'm, like, shit. I have, there's maybe one that's, like, constantly in my back and I'm, or in the back of my car. And I'm, like, like, that that's not going to do anything. So then it's, like, I end up just. Right using plastic bags and it's that makes me really mad and it piles up and then you're mm-hmm. like i feel like because you can't like you really can't recycle them as well because you can take them like a grocery store but you don't know what they're doing with them if they're actually recycling them or not and i don't know where it is at our grocery store i don't know if they have like they the probably bin. do have some sort of stand i just have never actually like i've seen i remember at our old it. jewel but i don't remember i don't know where if they have it at the new one i'm sure they do some it's just not in the same place as we're used to and right it's just, yeah. When I'm leaving the house sometimes in a in a rush, I get, that's probably usually the most stress because then I'm just sitting there and like decompressing in the car, which sometimes isn't the greatest thing to do. And, right. You know, not yeah. fun. Yeah, it's always like the, it's always like you're going somewhere like in the car and the shower when like you're just trying to like, when you have that like alone time where you usually get like pensive or like just start thinking things out, it's always like, oh, did I, did I do this? Or was I going to do this? And then it's... Yeah. Always. Sometimes it help. It hurts more than it helps. Mm-hmm. But then, but when you're able to de-stress, I feel like it's like a huge like when you get, when you finish something or when you get something accomplished. Like when you're no longer the thing that was stressing you out is done, mm-hmm. and you can just like decompress from actually like oh, finally. Mm-hmm. So what are like some de-stressors that you do? Like if it's like an ongoing thing, like work. Like what's something that you do? Like. When you're finally like, you know, I'm done for the day. I don't want to do it anymore. Like, what do you use to, like, calm yourself down? I do, self-care. Self-care. That's what they call it at our school. That was a big push this year is to make sure that everybody is doing some self-care at, either at the end of the day when you go home from work or, like, on the weekends. And What I, do you do for self-care on a regular basis? I usually try to get myself out of the situation that's, like, that was stressing me out. Like, oh, like, if it's, like, oh, if I had, like, a... Like, especially stressful day at work, I will not bring any work home with me. Just as a way, like, I'm leaving it here. I'm going to go home. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to, like, watch some Netflix and just relax. Because if you always bring something home, you're going to bring in that same stress with you. It's like, oh, I should double check this or I should do this. It's just, you know, you got it done. Just leave it there. And it's just, that's one thing I do. But. Just getting out of that situation usually helps for me. Well, that's not a de-stressor. That's just a, a coping mechanism. I'm saying, what do you do when you've had a really bad day, this really stressful day? What do you do to calm yourself down? I watch TV so I can get out of my own head. Aha. Uh-huh. See? But it also could be considered a coping mechanism, I guess. Yeah, but that's more of a self-care. Let right. yourself do something mindless for a little bit. Have a beer. I agree. That's probably the number one self care <laughs> we have as teachers. But I mean, it's I mean, there's something to be said about a shower beer every once in a while when you're having a longer day than usual. And sometimes I think also, like at least on I've noticed this like on the way home when you're just like driving in the car listening to music that helps mm-hmm. de stress because you're kind of you're kind of more in the moment. You're just thinking about the music. It's not. I do like to sometimes have something fun like kind of looking something to look forward to Mm -hmm. when I get home like oh 
really I didn't, well, what did I have today? I don't know. I'm, my big motivator now is after summer school, and once I get everything done, I get to nap, which is super fun. Yeah, that is something I envy. So, I mean, that's something I try to, like, look for, look forward to something, like, when I'm coming home, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna veg out on the couch, or, oh, I get to try out a new recipe um, right. to make for dinner, or, oh, Andrew and I are gonna go walk the dog, you know, after work, and, or... Something like that where we have something planned. That's why I also like when we do our like little, our fa- our friend group, like sometimes we do stuff during the week. Yes, That's that is. the biggest like relief is just like being able to be with your friends and no one really wants to talk about work that much. Right. Besides the, how's work going? Okay. Uh, That's about all we get right. through. But it's nice to have people just like, I don't know, just having it's, some people it around that. Expel be- some social energy. Mm-hmm. That's what me, yeah, I like knowing, like, more of what, like, other people are doing. Just, not even just, like, the stressful stuff, but, like, the fun stuff, too. Like, one of our friends is getting married, and it's like, oh, it's always fun to, like, ask about, like, Get are, updates. oh, what are you, what are you guys working on now? Or, um, like, just some other, because I know, like, there's one friend that I have that's, like, always in a bunch of weddings. Like, she's a very popular person. I'm like, oh, did you go to so-and-so's bachelorette party or, oh, did you go to that wedding yet? How was it? And it's fun to, like, just, it's good to socialize. Right. Just, like, especially, since, like, talking about TV, talking about things going on in the world, talking about food and, like, what we're right. going to be doing, you know, throughout the weekend, if we have weekend plans yeah. or just trying to plan stuff out, like, fun things to do so that we all have something to look forward to. Right. Um. Because sometimes our lives can get really busy. Right. I know I know it's like an, an old thing, like working for the weekend. But sometimes having that weekend where you don't have anything really that you need to focus on, you and your friends can get together. Like, well, the, the past, like last weekend, we got to go out um, with our friends, went to like a taste in one of the cities. There was like vendors and stuff. You know, it wasn't the event, like the event wasn't particularly great. We just got to hang out with our friends and some friends that we haven't seen in a while. So it always makes it fun. Yeah, and then just, I don't know, yeah, eating good food or good-ish food. There was I was very disappointed when we went to the taste and they advertised funnel cake and they gave you, you know, you think of funnel cake as like nice and like fluffy and thick and whatever and this, and our friend comes back with the funnel cake and it looks like, like it was, shoestring french fries. It's kind of crunchy. Yeah, and I was not a fan. I was kind and of like, depressed about, that was not something... I was so looking forward to, like, a good, like, funnel cake. Like, the ones you get. I still think that one of the best funnel cakes I've ever had was from Six Flags. Like, yeah. I, and I don't know, understand what they do or if Mass I'm just producer. crazy. But... The family squirrels. Sorry. <laughs> but, um... But there's... It's just so good, and I don't understand. Well, you have another opportunity for it this coming weekend. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Arts in the Parks. We'll have... And that's something we get to look forward to that's fun, even though you're traveling and then we're traveling again to go see your parents. Right. At least it's fun to do. At least it's fun traveling. Like, that's what made my last trip a bit better was because before I had my work trip, I was in the same area for, like, a a friend trip. So I got to go hang out with people. Even though I knew some of them, I didn't know a lot of them, but got to kind of relax me in a place that wasn't, like, home and kind of just do, do my own thing and not really... Worry about as much stuff. Not having a nagging wife saying, "Why didn't you cut the lawn?" Yeah, that was my. Go cut the lawn. That was my stress. Come home. It's like, can you mow the lawn? I was like, I, I, I can. I don't want to, but I know it's needed, yeah. and it looks a lot better. Mhm. And looking... I can usually cut the front lawn. It's the back lawn that I just don't like. It was actually like not muddy. Yeah, well, it is... hasn't. It's just been cloudy recently. Right, so... I mean, it rained what like, what, like two nights ago, Saturday night. It rained a little bit. Yeah, it rained on Saturday night. Sunday, I think it was okay, and today, today it's been okay. But then it's supposed to rain the rest of the week or something. Or at so least it'll be back up to capacity. a foot high by the time I come back. Yeah. That's all right, how it feels. but. Well, and that's why I'm hoping that if the rain comes off, then my, my little, like, stress is going to be, you know, working on some of the stuff that needs to get done in the backyard and stuff. Right. And sometimes, like, literally every time I look, it's, I look at our backyard and I'm like, there's weeds, there's really ugly planting bed back there. 
I'm just gonna like, rip it out. It's just like, where the hell am I gonna find the time to actually get all this shit out of here? Exactly. It's like it's like a little bit like you can't. It's hard to like focus on like one part. Like I'm just gonna do this because you're like, well, there's all of this I still need to do. Like, do I do this really well and let this go to crap, or do I need to just get it surface level? Mm-hmm. And like I know like it's really easy to be like, well, I'm gonna pull weeds. It's like do I pull weeds here, 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 all the. Yeah, and, so and then how like, how much time do I really want to dedicate to this? Since technically this is like quote unquote summer, but it's like I know I need to get, right. I know I need to do something because this is staring at me in the face for a while. Right, and it's hard because like sometimes like the only nice weather you're gonna get during the day is when I'm at work, when you're at work, when you get home. Like, oh, it's gonna be gray and rainy for the next six hours, and then it'll be dark out. Mm-hmm. It's like I can't like because you can't obviously can't go pull weeds in the rain. You can't mowing the rain and like and by the time like you look at it again it's like oh because all that rain it decided to double the amount of stuff we have in the back mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing the rain's been good for is our sod in the front which looks good that mm-hmm. has, has helped a lot in our rose bush which is yeah. looking good mm-hmm. but yeah I don't know there's other things that I would like to try in terms of like de-stressing and self-care but it's just like sometimes it's like the effort I'm just lazy right it's not like just being able to, because obviously it's probably hard for you to nap when you're stressed. Oh no. No. I'm okay with shrieking or sh- shrugging off responsibility to sleep. Shirking off. Yeah, whatever. That whatever that word is, but yeah, but like I, it's like oh, it's like the the thing where it's like you have so much to do, you just want to go take a nap. Yeah, that's basically me. If it were, if it's super, super important and super necessary, then obviously right. it won't. But it's like, if it's like, like today when I was supposed to clean the bathrooms, which I did, but I was like, okay, I got home and I had lunch and I was like watching, I've been watching this show called Ghost Adventure Artifacts because I love Zach Bagan so much. Not really though. He's kind of a turd, but I just like watching the show for ghost purposes. Mm-hmm. And, um... So I was like, okay, I'm going to watch one episode of this, and then I'm going to start my stuff. So, like, I was eating lunch while I was watching the show, and it was like, once it was over, I was like, okay. Like, and surprisingly, I was pretty motivated. Like, after that one episode, I was like, okay, I'm going to go and do this so that I can go and nap afterwards. (laughs) There you go. So Working for the nap. Yeah, working for the nap. I think that's, like, my motto for... Summer. For summer. Life. Yeah. Nap while you can. Yeah, because I know once children come along, I ain't going to be a... That's going to be... Let's let a nap through the crying. Just be like, and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm a pretty hard sleeper, so don't be surprised. Yay me. <laughs> but, yeah, nap while you can. That's a good... Because I, I have not napped in a very long time. At least intentionally napped. Like, I've fallen asleep, like... Like, the other week I was in the car um, after I'd flown in, and I'd fallen asleep in the car for a little bit. But I've never, like, I don't think I've intentionally, like, I'm going to take a nap in a very long time. Mm-mm. And even when you say, you're like, oh, I think I'm going to take a nap, then you're just, like, you never... I lay in bed just, like, and I'm just in bed. Mm-hmm. Awake. I know you always have a hard time with that, but... Yeah, because I'll never get, like, I never get fully into a nap. It's either I'm either just, like, awake, or I'm just, like, kind of, like, just, like, vegging there. Mm-hmm. But I never, like, get fully asleep. Oh, like, I might go in and out, but I'm usually just awake. Which is so worried now. I'm looking at our cat, and he's, like, laying on top of the couch. But I'm so worried that if he makes one wrong move, he's, he's going slide. Like, slide off the he... couch and, like, freak himself out. I think he's fine. He looks very content, though. Like, we're talking, and he is dead to the world. Don't move towards him. But I love when he wakes up and he makes his little, like, meow. But you should just let him sleep. He's... He'll sleep later. He sleeps 12 hours a day anyway. I'm sure he sleeps more than that. He's going to go back down. He just... He had to... I just wanted to make sure he doesn't fall he... off. It's like having children. You have to just worry don't, about... Just don't wake up a children if, they, if you don't think they're in a comfortable position. Just let them sleep. If you wake up a sleeping child, I will... I'll make you leave. <laughs> I'll just... I'll take the baby with you. Oh let the baby sleep! God damn it! No. so mean. Well, I just don't want you to wake a sleeping child. Is that so wrong? No, but we don't have any sleeping children. Right, but it's just for future reference. Oy vey. Oy vey. Future stress. Yeah. 
I don't know. Is there anything else that uh you do to de-stress? Some things I want to do. There's things I want to do. Bake? Uh, yeah. Is making stress relieving? Like, is, cook, like, is cooking anything, like, stress relieving for you or more stressful? It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing it, like, sometimes it's fun for me. Like, if if someone is like, okay, can you bring, like, a dessert for for this party or whatever? Like, that makes me excited if, if, if I have the time to make it. Right. Because then it's, like, something fun to do and not as stressful but like cooking dinner sometimes can make me stress out just because it's like especially if like we're kind of on a timetable like okay we need to eat and be done by this time so we can do this this and this then it's not fun but if i have like if i'm left to my own devices then it's like then it's a little more fun for me yeah cooking is really only stressful for me is when i have to have, trying to get multiple things to get done cooking at the same time so you can serve them together without having to like, well, I need to put this in the oven so it stays warm while I get this done. Or it's like when you have a certain recipe that has like five parts, you're like, well, while this is cooking, you mix this and then you add this and then leave it in for two minutes, you have to cover it. Or like, that's usually it's like when it's like juggling a bunch of different dishes. And our kitchen's not the most accommodating when it comes to like multi, like counter space to do things. Mm-hmm. But. We make it work. Yeah. We've made good things. We try new recipes. Which was fun. I think that's something when you find a good recipe is a good thing. Like, yeah, that's was something nice to look for. Because, like, sometimes you can get tired of, like, the same dish or the same meal that you do. Like, oh, we just did this, like, last week or the week before. But when you can try something new, it's like, ooh, this is exciting. Let's. let's yeah, but sometimes I get nervous when I do it because it's, like, I have, like, a certain expectation for myself. And then it's, like. I just worry that it's I'm not going to live up to it. Right. I remember when I first started grilling things, I always said, like, well, this doesn't work. We'll go get pizza because we'll have an option. I'm just trying to figure mm-hmm. it all out. I don't know. Now I just kind of want to sleep. Same as you. Oh. But I have more to do before I can sleep and get up four hours later. Yeah. I don't know how you're doing it tomorrow. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to hope. I'm, I have the worst time trying to sleep on a plane. But I'm going to really hope I can get at least an hour on the plane to sleep because I don't know how I'm going to do a full day's work tomorrow in the heat while on very little sleep. Because I'm either going to be sloppy or just crabby and it's not going to be good. Because when I'm hot, I get a little testy. When I'm tired, I get a little testy. Oh, yes, Combining those two, I am don't. I might, I might yell at someone that I shouldn't yell at and it might not go well. I'll be fine. I'll probably just pass out the moment I get back to my hotel. Like, I'll just, like, take my work clothes off and just starfish on the bed. That's not a bad idea. Hopefully there's dinner waiting for me at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Because the last time they said, well, complimentary dinner, I got there, like, 45 minutes after it started. Oh, we already already ran out of food. I was like, I'm supposed to have for two hours. Like, to me, if you have an, like, it's like having, like, an open thing for two hours you don't just be like well we make x amount of food and when it runs out that's it like no you should have food running until the two hours are done fair enough you're not gonna be like we have lasagna but we finished the lasagna so now you can just have salad and also we have no beer that we said well, also is complimentary i'm like either you should partial it out so there's enough for all of your people staying at your hotel or don't do it or don't do it at all because if it happens again i am going to complain to the the management Ooh, you're going to be... I'm going to be Karen. You're going to be Karen. You're going to talk to the manager. Because mm. that is ridiculous. Like, I agree. It, it's hard to argue about something complimentary, but still, like, you got to make it available. Like, yeah, it's 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. But if I show up at 6 o'clock, there's no food, that doesn't make sense. Either say, don't have it on certain hours, or say, like... Or say, like, first come, first serve. Right. Like, I'd much rather they, like, plea plate it, like, here's your meal. Like, cool. Because mm-hmm. that's all I wanted. I got back after a long day of work. I just wanted to change clothes, get some food, and go relax. But no. So I ended up ordering a pizza because I wasn't going to go back out after I got in and changed and stuff. So, yeah. All that fun. I don't know. just stressing me out thinking about it, which is not the point of the podcast. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Do you have anything else you would like to talk about? Do you think we've stressed our listeners out enough? I think we stressed about stressors enough, my friend. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for episode four of season two of Adulting Ain't Easy. 
I am Andrew. I'm Liz. You guys have a great week. We'll, we'll be back in two weeks with another show. I don't know what it's going to be about yet. We're getting very what a shock. We are getting very close to Africa. Mm-hmm. Is it? Will this be our? Will the next podcast be our last podcast before we go? Yeah, we might uh, have to pre-record before we. We'll go. have. We'll do one on the third, and then yeah, that'll be the last. So we'll have one more, but that'll be our last one before we leave, and then we'll have to either pre-record or have something figured out. So we're definitely not going to podcast from Africa. That. That's a lot of things. That's a lot of things, and we have no concept of time or internet access, so probably not. But you guys have a great week. We will be back with more Adulting Easy next time. Bye.